Hey Garth Gang and welcome to a uh, Path of Exile video. Excuse me, as per normal, I have a soda. Uh, I'm just running my baby high strat while I go through this video. Um, so obviously there's going to be a lot of action on the screen from various people doing various things, including myself. So at the moment I'm just rerunning my chaos recipe tool here um, to gain some chaos and etc etc. That's what I'm doing. You should be familiar uh, with this strategy if you're a regular to my channel. So the first thing I want to go through, there's uh, several topics I want to cover, is uh, I've noticed that content other content creators are now on the heist bandwagon and doing videos on various aspects of heist, their strategies, what they found, their data, blah, blah, blah. All that kind of good stuff. Uh, and the most prominent one is the one by Firegrass. Now, I know that video now is, is quite old in the, in the ways of YouTube and content creation. But I wanted to address it and I've been trying to figure out how to address it in the last, you know, since it was released and since I found it. Now, the first thing I want to say is that video is amazing. Firegrass did a real good job and he is technically correct with all of the information he has supplied and the data in that video. However, what I will say is there are so many different ways that he could have reduced the costs um, of that and therefore made the profit even bigger. So the first thing we're going to go through is filter. The most important thing when you are running a high strat is to make sure you have a customized filter for the strategy that you are running. And the first, there's two things you need to do in my opinion. Now outside of this league I spend 90% of my time in heist. I made a very bad judgment call in not doing heist at league start and I regret it to this day. So let's get that out of the way first. Moving on. <coughs> when you're doing your heist filter, make sure that you go on to Filter Blade and change the Rogue NPC gear from Rare only and move it to Range Normal to Rare. I have no idea why Neversync continues to leave it as Rare only. It is completely ridiculous. The amount of gear that you miss out on whilst running heist on any strategy is tons um, it it is I don't understand why he does that but that's the way it is so every league you're gonna have to go in and change it um, so that's that point second point cluster jewels again they are set to rare only now if you're running a heist you want to change your heist filter to show norm to rare why well a few days ago I found a four um, a full passive skill medium cluster minion cluster jewel. I picked it up, I out it, I threw it in my rotating stash tabs, and it sold the next day for 100 chaos. Now, if I hadn't have altered my filter, I wouldn't have seen that cluster jewel, and therefore I would have lost, technically, a out on the potential to earn multiple X if that was a large cluster jewel. Or um, you know something similar so make sure you're making your checking your filters and doing your own filters in 3.19 I am hoping to have a publicly available uh, heist filter for everyone to subscribe to and I will keep it updated throughout the league where required um, and hopefully everyone will just need the one filter uh, well uh, everyone that watches my videos anyway will have one filter that they know will be good for any high strategy obviously you can take the base filter and customize it to your own uh, personalizations depending on your high strategy colors and sound etc but i will happily do a base one so you don't have to um do all the customizations and of course if you're not familiar with doing your own filters it will save you a lot of time so that's the first thing, that's the filters out of the way. Second of all, investment. Investment, oh my days, where to begin? Um, heist like mapping, it depends on how much you want to put in it. The more you invest in your character, 
uh, obviously the longer it's going to take for you to make that money back now most of the builds that I do are uh, toxic rain well not most but the two most popular are toxic rain and I get why people hate it oh toxic rain again toxic rain again yes toxic rain again why do we do toxic rain even now with the arch mods why do toxic rain because it's cheap um, it is probably the lowest investment it allows you to play raider which has got perma phasing and perma onslaught which is a significant increase in movement um oh cool that's that bit done um and so i mean this entire character all the gear i'm, I'm going to go through this very quickly it's a standard setup on my on my uh baby heist pob so we've got the six inch quill rain the rat's nest here is by the uh simplex amulet the two little hoops of all a five links queen of the forest um these gloves uh a stitch a abyss jewel and replica lionized paws with the standard gem setup and standard flasks that is in the heist pob baby heist on my google doc which will be in the production below which is why i'm not spending too much time on it all that gear including the uh replica conqueror's efficiency jewel and the small minor res cluster jewel um the conqueror's efficiency is from this character running act eight so that is free everything there cost an x now because this is a baby heist i don't have to worry about npc gear i've dropped it all myself because i manipulated my filter to show the gear so i'll quickly run through it now on this strategy i'm only using four rogues cast tibbs tolina and gianna i've realized in recording this video i've well I've tried a couple of attempts it's gone wrong so this is the third attempt of the video um, that the gear is significantly out of date and I do need to be getting some new gear and rolling it which I will do but this is a gear as it is now so other than Tulina and Gianna we are looking for job speed uh, reduced marker cost uh, primary target has increased markers movement speed um, while in not in lockdown uh, life regeneration and some other good stuff so cast has got this which has got the regen uh, reduced cut and job speed fantastic uh, the brooch has got duplicate basic currency which is great and when I had this equipped the job experience was relevant now it's not but I'm loath to change it because of the duplicated base basic currency and obviously cast is running lock picking uh, his lock pick is locked down and a hiring fee it needs regaling and the cloak, 5% uh, increased lockdown, reduced, reduced, great. Tibbs, we were running um, as demolition. It, and de demolition, I recently come to find, is now really slow. Um, so I'm going to drop that. Not only that, the large chest and demolition are always random. And it can be a bit hit and miss on what you get. I don't want that on my strat, so that I'm going to be changing that for another one. Um, but we do have the additional reveal Wakano and Lockdown, which is okay. His sharpening stone is job speed, travel fee, and regen, which is great. His brooch, uh, Lockdown, hiring fee, and prime marker, which is great. His cloak needs to be changed. Uh, the reason it's showing as red is because my character is now level 59. And one of the roles on there is a higher level because this was from a um, higher level contract so when it's red like this it means it's not activated so i need to get a new cloak and roll it appropriately so it's um i can use everything tulina we've got uh reduced fee reduced fee lockdown brooch needs regaling reduced fee uh heist and again her cloak needs to be replaced although that is a nice cloak um and this i'm not sure why it's on there because job speed is irrelevant um, so all it's got down there is lockdown so that needs replacing and then Gianna needs something here the cloak is fine it's great we've got lock, uh, movement speed alert level and hiring fee and again this needs rolling slash regaling um, and then finally we've got reduced fee reduced fee lockdown so that's the gear no 
practically zero investment it's just alts um, regals etc which I earn a lot of doing this strat um, I run this strategy about 45 minutes every day uh, RNG based I need my 10 sets of chaos SP then that's 20 C because you vendor all of this unid'd um, but you make in four days I've have made one exalted orb uh, from road selling 50k rogue markers I've got 50, 30 stacked decks which I can sell or open and um, in the last two days I had I was down to 10 C I sold an item 15 C so that's 25 C um, and we are at now 111 C so you can see how much I'm making plus all the regals most of these regals have come from this strat by picking up regal shards or regal orbs themselves um, so it doesn't this strategy does make money and it's extremely low investment uh, you don't need a six link uh, quill rain and as you can see you do not need a six link cream of the forest I've still got a five link and I'm not intending to upgrade it I don't need it I started on the four link um, upgraded to a five link and then eventually got the six link So that's the build. So we've looked at filter, we looked at build. Um, don't roll your contracts or your blueprints. I can't remember if I said that. Like I said, this is the first time recording this video. I'm getting a bit confused. Um, don't roll your contracts or your blueprints. In Firegrass's video, you can see how much money, currency, sorry, he spent on doing that. It is not worth it. Rarity and quantity only affect what drops from the mobs. In most cases, you will not be killing the mobs. You're running into the heist and either aiming straight for the end reward or you are opening chests on your way um, to, to get what's dropping from the chests because uh, everything in heist, mm, sorry, not everything, most of the stuff from heist come from the chests you are opening and character. Uh, quantity rarity does not affect the chests so in order to get your quantity and rarity to a point where it's reasonably affecting the drop rates you are going to have to spend a significant amount of alks chaos and or um, scours to get modifiers that your build can run at a rarity slash quantity that you like uh, it's just not worth it uh, the other big thing that is going around is is it worth to spend 50 plus exalted orbs on a trinket that has a chance to turn other currency into exalted orbs in my opinion no it's not unless you find one in a blue point that you blueprint that you are running which is the currency trinket blueprints they are not worth buying from trade it will take you an unfathomable fathomable amount of time to generate the cost back from the drops that you get from that trinket the better option is to either find or buy a trinket that turns currency into chaos orbs uh, they proc far more often are not that expensive if you're not too picky with the other mods on the uh, trinket um, and in my opinion are a lot better worth it now again much like mapping and any other strategy in path of exile the more you put into it the more you're going to get out of it to a certain extent um, the more you put into your build the quicker it's going to be the more survive it's going to be blah 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 all that goodness however how much do you need to put in a build to be successful at heist very little uh, this is why people play toxic rain with a cruel rain six inch cruel rain is hold on let's have a quick check Trade Quill Rain Quill Rain Short Bow Miscellaneous Corrupted No Just because so you can change the uh, socket colours Minimum six link and go So right there we go there's one gone on trade uh, ten minutes ago for ninety five C um sort by thing ninety five five X shut up oh it's thirty percent quality but again shush Okay, so they're about they're running between a hundred C and two X, uh, depending on quality and um, colours. 
Um, that's not more than I thought it was. But you don't need a six link. You only need a five link. So let's look at cost of five. Well, on on my TR builds in the guides below, a five link will cost you. There you go. Bam. Sixteen hours ago. Uh, let's just drag it over. There you go. Sixteen hours ago. Six socket. Five linked. Ten C. Twelve minutes ago. Fifteen C. It's not qualityed, but you get wet stones like pff, drop all over the place. That's twenty wet stones. Meh. That's less than a C. You can get one. Boom. Thirty thirty C with um, accuracy, which we don't need, but whatever. Oh, a pre-qualityed one at twenty C. It they're worth nothing. Um, you don't need the big bow with the, all the chaos dot multi on it. You don't need it. Yes, it's nice. Yes, it'll do more damage. But as you've seen, you don't need the much that much damage um, to to make it profitable. Man, why is my I'm not getting any weapon drops at the moment. It sucks. Um, so that's that. So build cost um, is up to you. Obviously, the more you put into it, the faster you're going to be, and the higher eye level um, contracts you can do with more survivability. That's what it comes down to: survivability over uh, DPS in heist. Um, there's no point having uh, millions of DPS if you can't get in and out without dying. As you can see, even on this thing, I'm ignoring most of the mobs. I don't need to run them. I don't need to kill the mobs, really. Um, I will do because I'm running endless high. So at some point, I will need to kill, level up, buy contracts, blah blah. You know how it works. So that's that point. Um, what's the other point? Ah, yes, I've covered the filters. We've done the trinket. We've done the build. We've done the thing. Uh, and that's pretty much all I have to say now. Another popular question I get asked is which blue points to run. That's entirely your choice. Um, the most profitable of all blueprints are the unique blueprints and the alt gems. Uh, alt gems over replicas. The reason being is at League Start, most people want alt gems for their builds, for League Start builds, because they're better, do more DPS, blah, blah. As the league progresses, more pe people will still want the alt gems because they're moving on to secondary builds or meme builds or, or just having fun. They've made an uber amount of currency and they're, they're just doing builds. Um, prime example of this are uh, Mathel. Mathel grinds out builds like no one's business and he is constantly looking for uh, maxed gems. Now, Sometimes he goes after the alt gems, sometimes he doesn't. It all depends on the cost. If I'm running an alt gem strat, the first thing I do is set up a rotate. I will throw most of them in a 1x uh, tab and just wait for them to sell. And they will sell. That's my strategy for alt gems. Now, replicas are probably the most RNG. Um, because you're either going to walk in, find the replica ferals fur and be like pog done nice that's a mass amount of x me great brilliant happy days or you'll find a replica bloodthorn um, if you don't know what that is it is a, a, a useless staff that is doesn't get used at all uh, you sell it to a vendor and get out shots yay uh, <laughs> the other ones um, experimental bases if you get the right eye level um, you get uh, the one handers that have got secrets of suffering a lot of people like secrets of suffering in the heist experimental bases you get the right eye level base that could be worth multiple X alternatively you can get a ton of pants that's worth, worth nothing and again you're walking out without shards and uh, currency and trinkets <sighs> probably the most RNG you're never guaranteed a trinket at all more often than not you'll get a stack of wow almost died there that's unusual um, oh, cloaks nice pick up that pick up that 
uh, stacks of orbs of chance, maybe some chaos or other base currency in there. I've got a stack of G 20 GCPs, which I was like, yay, nice, GS GCPs. Um, I run, normally I'm not on, on this filter, but um, if I'm running uh, an old gem strategy, I will um, go into the filter and show um, any gem that has got a 10% or more quality, can I gather them up, vendor them for the GCPs, and then make all my alt gems 20% quality. Never sell alt gems if they are not 20% quality. They will sell, however, having a 20% quality is way better than selling one that's got 10 quality. You'll get a quicker responses. Uh, where am I going to put that in there for now? I'll sort that out later. Um, and therefore get more profit quicker blah 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 that apparently would have got one in my stash so that's that um, I'm trying to think there was other things I wanted to cover in this video I should have made a script I should have made a script with all that said and done that's my personal viewpoint on um, the other videos that I've seen I try keep an eye of anything else heist, uh, heist related um, uh, yeah so that's that the other thing I want to say is um, in the discord TFT discord in the heist channel um, a discord user by the name of Aileen A-E-L-A-E-N posted their build which is a uh, elementalist stone golem user with a 300% plus movement speed so I'm going to bring the build on POB now I haven't gone through this build, I've literally grabbed the paste bin they shared in Discord and popped it straight into POB. Um, it looks good on paper, uh, it's got the movement speed, it's certainly got the damage. Um, so there's the tree. The only thing I can see that might be worth um, a significant cost is uh, the watcher's eye here. Uh, the anger is irrelevant. It's the movement speed and the life while affected by vitality. Now, increased movement speed while while affected by grace is great. Um, I personally would have gone for a life regen, um, base life regen role rather than life recovery rate. Um, but I don't know how this build works, having not played it myself, so I don't know. Uh, it looked like I said it's another build that looks really good. Um, they're running uh, six link stone golems, running haste, defiance, banner, grace, phase run, smoke mine, uh, with flame dash, convocation, vitality, with a ray specter, chaos golem as well, and then um, all these other bits. Item wise, we've got clay shaper. I think this is a. Um, synth base from one of the synth maps so I'm not sure how much they cost um, that could be quite expensive I know a few get leagues ago they were going for chaos but I don't know what their cost is now standard devo devotos with the Queen of Forest and then other gear that they've just popped in to make up um, and then three primordial em eminences, jewels, I don't know how much they go for, and an anime stone. So again, I don't know how much they go for. It looks like a really good build. Um, it's different to all the other ones because um, it's a minion build, which is quite nice to see. So I'll pop that in my Google Doc for you to have a look at as another option to run in Heist. And I think that's it for this video. Uh, there's probably other things, things I wanted to cover. Um, but I've just forgotten them. Oh, that's it. Reveals. That's what I wanted to check. Now, running this baby, one of the other reasons why I run this baby high strategy is if I'm running a high level base uh, strategy, this will gen this strategy will uh, provide me with all my reveals. Um, I am maxed out on Wakano two five five. It won't go up from there. I've got about forty or fifty Gianna reveals. And about 20 reveals with Niles. So I run this strategy for about 40 minutes a day until I get my sets done for my chaos recipe. As you can see, today has been a bit bad. It's probably going to be longer. I just haven't got the weapon drops. 
It's why I'm running brute force because it's uh, supposed to be weapons. But you too sometimes get uniques which can hamper the progress. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, my schedule for the next videos. Um, we are looking. It's now as you can see here 8:30 uh, local time tomorrow night, which is for me Wednesday night. I will be doing my hardcore achievement progress video. And then on Friday, I will go through the new build I'm currently leveling, which is what I used all my chaos on. Uh, have fun in Rogue Harbor, and I will see you in the next one.